Hello there, all you amazing people. I'm, what, I'm recording all of these in one big batch. So we're going to talk about now, are you wasting money on power supplies, PSUs? And I will surprise you right now. No. This is probably the most important thing in your computer. You should think like this. What is the most expensive power supply I can get away with buying? And buy that one. <laughs> it's that simple. It's not... Just don't, again, caveats, not, don't just go for the most expensive one on a site like Newegg here. I, I use Newegg because it's an American site and most of you guys and girls know this site. Don't just go like, okay, sort by price, highest first, and then, yes, this one I can get. Of course, go and deal hunt. Find a, find a, a graphic card, uh, let's say, like, let's see if you can find that, like... Uh, be quiet makes really really good power supplies you know msi i don't really evta it makes really really good power supplies you know so let, let's say you want like uh, like corsair makes really really good power supplies so let's say you this one here sounds like a card you want oh it's a 400 dollar or not card like a power supply it's a 400 dollar power supply yeah go and shop you know, can I get it for cheaper? You see, there's a big difference between $40 and $400 here. And with power supplies, you get what the fuck you're paying for up to a certain degree. You know, there's the root of diminishing returns. If you don't know what that is, go research it. It's where you pay more than what for more. You start to pay more and more and getting less and less. I would say, like, this is just my humble opinion. Like, if you go with where's the be quiet, you know, you go with something like this here, the IMX series, you go with, um, I don't like terminal thick so much. Uh, here, Asus Tuff, tough, what you would call them, maybe. Uh, if you go with like um, EVTA Supernovas, quite good power supplies. I have done many times. So I have uh, course there many times over my lifespan. And then buy as expensive as you can muster. Because here's what you should think about. You go from your wall where there is a lot of fucking power, a lot of amperage going on, a lot of oomph basically, into this thing here and then into all of your components so theoretically we are speaking a little bit theoretic here the one thing that is against or between you and the wall with a lot of dirty dirty electrons and dirty dirty voltages and dirty dirty ohms and amps and stuff like that is this fucking unit here so the better this is the better this unit is the bigger chance you have for not not fucking setting things up for for uh, or, or let's say there is a spike in power not going to ruin your fucking computer if there is lightning is hitting a transformer somewhere in your place it's not going to ruin your components and stuff like that i have seen people spending up to a thousand dollars on a motherboard when they should have spent it a couple of hundreds they, they spent thousands of dollars on, on fucking um graphic cards and a, a couple of hundred three four hundred dollars on a cpu and massive like two three hundred dollars on ram and then they buy a fucking power supply for 30 bucks and then one day they turn on the computer and everything is just fried or there is a search somewhere in the in 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 the wiring in the house or apartment unit everything is fried or their graphic card is fried or their motherboard or cpu is fried i've seen it so many times like i can't even count it and heard it and talk to people that experienced it buy as expensive quality power supply you can get away with though again like i say i say this to everyone if it's if, if it's from a company you've never heard of don't buy it if you can't pronounce the name don't buy it if it looks like it's made by a fucking five-year-old in a shit while his dad was pissed drunk and watching Pornhub, don't buy it. If it if it has LEDs and look fancy and you still can't pronounce it, don't buy it. Should you buy for looks here? Kinda, but no. The most important thing here is the ratings of it, certifications of it, but I would say even even that can be misleading. I Again, I will find, if, if you like Crosshair, if you like, in my case, I really like Be Quiet, you know, or even EVTA, then go on to an EVTA power supply section or be quiet of course and then and then look at how much voltage do i need you know that, that's probably the only one or how many watts sorry how many watts do, do, do i need to buy a thousand watt power supply if my system is only going to use 500 
even if I'm going to upgrade in the future. That's probably where you should like be a little bit. So if let's say your system needs six, you, you do the count. They have like a power supply calculator on here, what you need when you're building your own computer. I can't remember where it's it located at. So if, let's say it's say, okay, you need as a minimum a 600 watt power supply. Buy like a seven or 800, you know, you had a lot of headroom and if you are going to upgrade your graphic card and you can probably also take it with you to your next computer. Power supplies, if they if you buy them, they can last you a fucking long time because the, the, the connections, we are, right now we're going to move over to another uh, AT, ATX connection for the motherboards and stuff like that, and CPU or GPU, so it's beginning to, to use other connections, uh, I think it's called 5.0 or 2.0, I can't fucking remember, but they're going to start to use new like connection types to get more power and cleaner power to the, to the graphic card, so now you have to be a little bit aware of this but this this format like the, this the the connection formats and stuff like that have not changed in years on power supplies close to a decade if i'm not mistaken if not longer they have been the same type of connectors on all motherboards and and sata cards uh, sata connection units like uh, hard drives and stuff like that and Motherboards use the same connections for years and years and years. Graphic cards use the same connections for years and years and years. Hard drives, you know, SSDs have used the same connections for years and years. Like the only thing that really changed was Mole. Um, is it called Mole? Mole connection or what they're called? Like the old square connections was the biggest change in many, many years on the power supply front. So you can, I have used, I'm not joking here, I've used the power supply for eight years. I bought a really really good really 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 highly regarded power supply and when i say highly regarded go look at tests go look at people that are testing power supplies like gamers nexus and people like that and then buy the most expensive one they recommend and and buy a little bit higher than you need because then you can take it with you to the next build and the next build like i said i had one for like about eight years before i had to upgrade it and the only reason why i have to upgrade it was because well the power, uh, not power supply, the GPU started to use more and more fucking resources, and so do the, the CPUs. You know, they're getting more and more power hungry. So it was the only reason I have to chase was because it was just becoming too low wattage. Too low wattage. So, no, you cannot spend too, well, technically you can, but you are not wasting money on power supplies. I would actually say that you are not paying enough. Th this is this is like uh, if you're into football, you know. This is like the the line that are defending the quarterback. That's that's the uh, the power supply. It's it's those ch uh, choppy ass motherfucking muscle bound orcs and and the uh, bulls standing there. In is it the defensive line? It's called. I can't even remember right now. Now that's on the defense offensive line. I can't remember it right now. I haven't watched American football in fucking forever. But it's those fucking big ass motherfucker dudes standing there protecting the quarterback. And that's your power supply. If that fucks up, it it can potentially ruin everything. So a forty dollar component can ruin a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollar computer. It's the most important component and it's the one most people are, uh, don't want to spend any money on they are willing to spend two thousand dollars on a graphic card but s tell them to spend 100 200 dollars on a P ps your pcu power supply unit they will yell and scream at you like you're fucking trying to take their money away this is where you don't cheap out see you all later bye bye